the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip-hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. So I just received an email from AMD saying URGENT! AMD Software Adrenaline Update for F1 2023 uh, Today AMD released a new K KB, KB update, sorry, KB update driver providing day zero support for F1 2023 And that's basically it, so the drivers that you had before with support for F1 2023 um, And we also have different drivers once again for the RX 7600 and for all the other GPUs. And if you're an avid follower of my channel, you actually know that I did that I did say in some previous videos of the AMD Adrenaline drivers, how messed up the driver team must be. And not their fault, most likely not their fault because the engineers just pushed the MCM design and I do believe that they did not think that it would be so hard to code for RDNA 3. But it seems it is because once again, we have different drivers. So we have the 23.5.1, for all the GPUs, then we have the 23.5.1 specifically, a driver specifically for the RX 7600, which is a launch driver. Then the 23.5.2 drivers were released, but not for the RX 7600. So they were released for all GPUs, but not for the RX 7600, meaning that the RX 7600 does not officially support Diablo 4. Meaning once again that the driver's team must be like full of work, completely full of work um, with the drivers because they do have to code way more for RDNA 3 than RDNA 2 because once again, multi-chip design, um, different arrays of, of several things that leads the driver team to have way, way more into the, um, the, the RDNA 3 architecture so they have to work way more for the RDNA 3 in terms of coding, uh, for the games to work properly, for the performance to be what it should be and still we have some issues like VR issues and the idle power issues, so it is there, it is hard, very hard to code, or it, at least it seems to be very hard to code for RDNA 3. And now we are waiting for things like FSR 3 once again, and this comes. So not even an official driver supporting, uh, supporting F1 2023, uh, not even an official driver that could be released supporting that game and maybe, just maybe, supporting uh, the RX 7600 on the full package uh, of the drivers and not having a specific driver for the RX 7600. But if you remember, that happened exactly the same with the 7900 series, where we had like uh, from December to let's say like April or something like that. So it was like... Uh, three, four months at most uh, that we have only driver updates for the 7900 series. So if you were using a, six, a 6000 series, you would not have updates because AMD was purely working on the 7900 series. And it seems that the, six, the 7600, since it is RDNA 3, but it is not MCM, so it is a single die, uh, <laughs> it brings more trouble for the driver team, even more trouble. Uh, once again, they're f Why is AMD taking this route? Why exactly? Because, I, I, I mean, it makes no sense for me. Nvidia released the LSS 3 like months ago. They have like 40 or 50 games already with the LSS 3 or at least 30 games from the last time I saw. Uh, and they keep adding the LSS 3. Um, and although it's not a feature for me, in almost any scenario, maybe one or two games only. Uh, it is a feature that most users use and it is definitely um, 
it is def definitely a selling point for, for NVIDIA users in some scenarios. And even if AMD uh, doesn't want to compete directly with the LSS3, they should release FSR3 as soon as possible. If they can't release FSR3 to, to the 6000 series, well, just release them at least first to the 7 to the 7000 series in order to compete more or less on par with the LSS3, something that isn't happening right now. So we have the 4080 at the same value, usually at the same value as the as the XTX and the 4080 consumes less power, has the LSS3, has better rate racing. So at the same value, the 4080 is definitely the way to go. And I, I told it, I said it several times in several videos, even in this comparison that you see in the screen. So I don't know if this is an actual hardware issue and uh, the coders can't do anything about it, but I do believe they can. It's just much harder due to the how, due to how, sorry, uh, RDNA 3 is designed compared to RDNA 2, okay? So once again, multi-chip design, so you have several dies instead of having a big one, uh, and that's why AMD needed months with drivers only for the 7900 series. And now since we have RDNA 3 on a single die, we have specific drivers for the 7600 once again. And now we don't even have an official update, uh, at least for now, of course, we have just uh, kind of an urgent update that they do kind of damage control for the F1 280-283. Come on. And yeah, I'm not even reading the release notes because the only thing that the release notes really have on these drivers the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 23.10.01.37 for F1 23, apart from the other things that we had before, is highlights support for F1 23. And the known issues remain the same with certain virtual reality games or applications may encounter suboptimal performance or occasional stuttering and intermittent application crash or light corruption may occur when using Blender. So once again, we're waiting for FSR3, we're waiting for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, something that will most likely come with FSR3 because from what I understand uh, and from what people told me actually, FSR3 needs the, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to do the frame generation, so it is a must. So it means we will have more performance and we'll have FSR3 once it comes, because AMD promised it like six, five or six months ago and we're still waiting. At least they said it was due on summer, but still, the waiting hurts. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. And just to finish the ranting, AMD fix your shit. If uh, a driver team of 50 people isn't enough, well, just employ another 20 people or employ another, another 30 people because drivers need optimization. Drivers need optimization. A NVIDIA has been releasing pretty shitty drivers recently as well, but still, on AMD's case, they need more people working there because they need more optimization. RDNA 3 needs a lot, a lot more focus than, more focus, sorry, than RDNA 2 due to how it's built, okay? So more people working there would most likely be what they need. Or not, I'm just saying what I think. And well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Pam and... Yeah, see you in the next one. I'm currently working on the DDR5 4800 versus 5200 versus 5600 versus 6000. I actually, I actually bought a new kit, the 6000 CL30, uh, in order to do to bring e even more benchmarks for you, uh, because the one I have is Samsung, and Samsung sucks on DDR5, uh, unlike the Hynix kit that I that I actually that I actually bought, which is much better if I want to tweak and I want to bring more videos about that, showing you the difference in performance in terms of tweaking when we're going into sub timings and so on. Basically, that's another thing that I want to show you. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.